Everybody from this moment forward, every single time that I, and only I, say the word pop, you're going to realize that your belly button has popped off your belly and is rolling around on the stage. Life without a belly button is quite embarrassing. You're going to want to find it. If you don't find it, don't worry. I do have a spare. I will give that back to you. This young guy right here, what is your name, sir? Matt Sleep. Matt, you will be number one for my purposes. And uh, your name, sir? Ray? Ray Sleep. Ray, you will be number two for my purposes. Number one, Matt, whenever I and only I say the word Titanic. Matt, whenever I and only I say the word Titanic, you are going to believe at that moment that you are Jack from the movie Titanic. That's oh, right. no. Every time I say Titanic, you're going to believe that you are Jack from the movie Titanic. As all of you know, Jack was played by Leonardo DiCaprio. He's not very tall. That will be important for what we're about to do. Ray, every single time that I and only I say the word Titanic, at that moment you are going to realize that you are Rose. Oh, no. Jack, you will stand oh up God, and face toward Rose. Rose, you will face toward Jack. You will realize that you have become separated from across the decades and you will start to run toward each other in romantic slow motion. Jack, you will shout, Come to me, Rose. Come to me, my love. Rose, you will shout, Come to me, Jack. Come to me, my love. You will meet in the middle. You will... You will embrace the very moment you do that. You will come to with no idea what you've been doing or how the heck you got there. You will not be angry. You will not be upset, but you will be a little weirded out. <laughs> Nevertheless, every time I say Titanic, that scene will play one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Wide awake. What was your name? Hannah, put your feet in front of you. Love those shoes, Hannah. You wouldn't want anything to happen to those shoes, would you? Hannah, sleep. Hannah, listen carefully. Listen closely. Because no matter where you are, and no matter what I am, Hannah, every single time that I and only I say the word working out, you are the one who's going to shout at me, hey, great butt, and then go on about your business. When I count from one to five, Hannah, wide awake. One. And everybody, two, three, four, five, wide awake. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Christopher Carter. I do about 200 performances a year. When I am not doing this, I like to watch films. As a matter of fact, I, I like to spend as much time as I possibly can just at the movies having an absolutely wonderful time. Bummer. Who did I have to do that? Is it over this way? To her? Sleep. She was too busy having her shoes stolen. I don't think she actually heard the instruction. <laughs> this girl I'm touching. You okay? I'm sorry? I wasn't happy to sleep right there. What's your name? Sleep. <laughs> this girl here, listen carefully and listen closely. I'll give your shoe back in a little bit, okay? This girl, listen carefully, listen closely. Every single time that I and only I say the words at the movies, you're going to stand up and shout, run, Forest, run. That will happen every single time. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. Well, like I said, I like to spend as much time as I possibly can at the movies having an absolute... Much better. Now, I want to tell you about my all-time favorite film, Titanic. It is a beautiful, romantic epic. <laughs> You know, the big 68-ounce pop, the, the soda pop there, and it was causing me an awful lot of problems because I gained a great deal of weight. And no, 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 uh, it's okay. You don't have to leave the stage. i, I got a spare. I'll give you my spare. Just take my spare. Yeah, it's okay. It's good. Make sure it's on good and tight. Good, good. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Anyway, Titanic. I wanted to talk to you about my favorite film of all time. Titanic. An absolutely wonderful, stirring, romantic epic. It really makes it... So, I was talking about the, the pop that I would buy when I was at the movies. I would buy the big 68-ounce pop. It was delicious. It was absolutely wonderful. Some really, really good stuff.
So can I, can I help you? Is there, is there an issue I can help you with? Belly button? Oh, she's got it right there. Could you hand it up for me? Just go ahead and toss it. There we got it. Make sure that's on there good and tight. Now, I began a new exercise program. I have been working out now for the last... Oh, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. Like I said, I was hitting the gym. I was working out recently for a couple... Oh, that's so sweet. I really, really do appreciate that. Um, sir, what was your name? Sam, look up and down the road here. Do you know something kind of weird about a lot of these people? Find your chair forward for me, Sam. Do you notice a, a lot of these guys aren't wearing their shoes? It's kind of weird, don't you think? I notice you got shoes, they don't. Why would that be, Sam? <laughs> you, you wouldn't have stolen their shoes, would you? See, I heard this rumor that, that somebody was coming up and stealing shoes. Did you do anything like that? I noticed you gained a little bit of weight while you've been up here, Sam. Um. <laughs> Sam, sleep. Because when I count from one to five, you're going to be sitting up straight, eyes wide awake, feeling absolutely wonderful. But Sam, whenever I say shoe, you're going to discover everybody's shoes under your shirt, and you'll have no freaking clue how they got there. <laughs> Count from one to five, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. So you wouldn't steal anything from anybody? Because uh, my shoe actually was feeling really bad earlier. Stand up, Sam. Sam, sleep. Ray, yes? Ray, sleep. What was your name, sir? Derek, sleep. Sam, Ray, and Derek, when I count from one to five, you guys are going to be sitting up straight, feeling absolutely incredible. But you're going to hear some music play. And when that music plays, you three will realize you've become powerful, muscular, buff, sexy. At that moment, you three will suddenly realize that you are no longer your old selves. You are now members of the world-famous Chippendales dance team. Oh, God. Here to, edu here to entertain out. You, this will be the PG version of the Chippendales show, guys. You will not repeat, not take it off. Other than that, you're going to show your moves to those lovely ladies in the crowd. Whenever that music falls, oh, I'm sorry to say, sorry to disappoint you, ladies, but we got to keep it clean. You'll be showing those moves until that music stops, at which point you'll come to with no idea what you've been doing or how you got there. When I count from one to five, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. Well, guys, they did ask me to play a little bit of music, and they asked me to play some classical music, but unfortunately I didn't have it, so I'm going to play a slightly different type of music. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Give it up for her. Let her go back down to the crowd. Give her a big round of applause. So we come to the grand finale. 
We call these post-hypnotic suggestions. Folks, when the show is over, down here at the edge of the stage, I have a number of items for sale. My wife will be selling them. I have a background in hypnosis and hypnotherapy, and I have recorded six different CDs that if you want, you can use hypnosis to improve your everyday life. So, for example, if you want to stop smoking, I have one that will help you do that. If you want to lose weight, I have one that will help you do that. If you want to improve your memory,